Hi everyone. Hello. Hopefully my volume is working this week, fingers crossed. Um, last week I had some issues with my volume and or my image. Uh, so hopefully everyone can hear me tonight. Um, it's so nice to see all the names popping up. I can see some familiar names. I'm just going to pop my couple of my pens away here. So on my page, got a couple of names. Uh, Lorelou, oh my gosh, hello. Sharon, Latika, hello. Uh, I'm a little bit croaky. I've had a bit of a, um, a bug last week, so I'm just sort of recovering. So my voice is a little croaky. croaky. Um, please forgive me for that. Um, Sabi, Sabi Shwali. Um, Sabi, I'm just popping you down on my list. Um, so I'm just having a look at people I'm quite drawn to at the moment. Now, I am an oracle card reader. I'm also a medium, so I connect to past over loved ones. Um, I do uh, healings and stuff like that, pranic energy, healing, Reiki, all of those sorts of things. So if any of that sort of tickles your fancy, I'm just trying to sort out my hair over here at the moment, um, then let me know and I'd love to um, come and help you with that. Um, Sabi Shwali. I am very drawn to you, so I'm going to draw a couple of cards for you. Narelle, my auntie Narelle, beautiful, hello. Elsie, hello darling, Latoya, hello. Um, grandmother, Latoya, I'll pop you down, uh, Latoya, grandmother. Um, let me just pop you on my list. Um, now, it doesn't mean that if I'm sort of skipping over your name tonight um, that I won't come back to you. Keep persisting, you know, keep posting your comments, uh, resharing, you know, that sort of thing. If you don't want to get my attention, uh, Spirit will often just drag me there when I particularly need to um, get there. So, um, you know, don't give up. I'm not ignoring anyone, uh, but just keep, you know, sharing and posting and that sort of thing. Uh, Latoya, you're on my list. So if I've mentioned your name, you don't have to share and post anymore. I will definitely come to you. Um, oh, Maxine. Hello, Maxine's one of my mentorship clients. Um, that's lovely. Nice to see you in here. Maxine, I'll do a couple of cards for you. You've done enough for me, so I'll uh, definitely do a card or two for you. Um, now, if you are jumping in, let me know what you're after. If you need anything in particular, um, then I'm happy to help wherever I can. Someone's just given me some stars, which is lovely. Um, Jahan. Now, I think I know your name from last week. Um, Jahan Helen Thomas. I think I might have done something with you last week. <clears throat> Best way to grow my list and client base. Great. Love that. Um, now I do a lot of business readings one-on-one -on -one and I can go into a lot of depth, um, with you, but I'll ask spirit for the time being what we need to know. Um, best way to grow my list and client base. So Johanna, I'm putting you down. Nice question. And, uh, if you want to get in touch with me one-on-one, -on -one, there is a link in this post. You can click on that and click book now. That'll show you my availability, uh, my calendar and that sort of thing. And also my services. Uh, Crystal, hello, Elsie, hello, uh, Elsie, message, beautiful, let me pop you down, Elsie, beautiful, all right, so Elsie's on my list, now I'm just having a look through my page at the moment, I do cross post, um, I'm putting down general, um, so I do sort of look across, Christine, hello, hello, I'm glad you can hear and see me, fantastic, um, there were some issues last week, so I just wanted to make sure uh kimmy hello my friend kimmy um starting business let me just do a bit of a life purpose thing around that for you my friend starting business let me put that down a lot of business inquiries tonight this is great we're heading into really good energy guys um notice salote oh gee whiz yeah yeah i get it um salote has been on well as well um there's a lot of really interesting energies we're in at the moment we're in uh winter solstice uh right now today and uh, yesterday we came out of Mercury in retrograde, which slows everything down and it makes everything appear as though it's going sort of backwards. It is quite tricky. Um, out of the normal thinking, uh, can we do something positive? Can you hear you fine? Good to see you in here. Uh, Sarah Kay, yes. Uh, let me put you on my list. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, coming out of Mercury in retrograde and uh, into winter solstice. So, uh, really good energy for creating. We're starting to get back into that action uh, energy. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to put general down, Sarah, general, whatever's coming through. I do have my high vibrational cards, liquid crystal and all of those sorts of things tonight. So I've got some uh, high vibrational cards. If that's what you're sort of after, let me know. Um, I do have Tina Malloy. Beautiful. I haven't seen you before. Tina Malloy. Um, let's do romance angels or something like that. Hey, um, she's after sort of different things, reading about anything, love life, about family. Um, okay, so let's do love life romance and see what comes up there, romance angels. Now, if you have a yes, no question, I can get to you pretty quickly. So if you have anything that I can give you a yes, no for, I've got my pendulum here and that's a really good way to get seen by myself. So just let me know if it is a yes, no, 
and um, and I can certainly sort something out with that for you. Um, so just let me know if that's what you're after. I'm back on spiritual events directory. Hello to everyone who's watching tonight. 65 people watching. Wonderful. Um, now, beautiful. All right. So I've scrolled out all the way down to the bottom um, and I'm up to date. Now I've written down quite a few names. I'm just going to get started so we're not sitting here all night and me talking and you sort of going, when are you going to do these readings? I'm wondering what is going on here. Um, so Sabi Shwali. Um, now, Sabi, I didn't write down anything in particular for you um, in terms of what you were after. So I've just put down general. <clears throat> so if there is anything specific, let me know uh, what you're after. Otherwise, I'm using Goddess Guidance for Sabi Shwali. Um, they're my Goddess Guidance uh, Doreen Virtue. So I hope everyone's well tonight. I'm sending each of you love and light. Um, whoa, Brie, holy white man. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, wow. Uh, Brie, let me do the uh, yes, no, hey? Let's do the yes, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pregnant, congratulations, congratulations. Girl or boy. Um, so I'll do pendulum for that, Brie. Um, so when I come to that, I'll do pendulum. Yes, no, that's how you get your answer. Um, so if you've got a yes, no, let me know. I'm using Goddess Guidance at the moment. Um, so let's come to Sabi Shwali. Um, so we're just going to come into your energy. I'm using Goddess Guidance at the moment. I just want to see what I need to know there. Um, Sabi, what I want to say is a lot of pink around you, rose quartz. That's unconditional love, no judgment, that sort of thing, uh, softening with you. Um, so very kind, you know, to self, pat on the back, encouragement, you know, that sort of thing. Um, seeing the pink uh, in particular around you. Um, probably why I've got Goddess Guidance because uh, they're very feminine. Um, but the pink around you at the moment, the Rose Quartz. So surrounding yourself with the Rose Quartz, putting a new top close to your heart, really, really healing. Um, just feeling that pink uh, in particular around you. Um, really supporting heart, even like Malachite. Malachite's a good stone, that's the green, um, but also supporting heart because heart is green and pink, depending on if you're looking at the front or the back. Um, okay, so Goddess Guidance, let's see what this shows me. Now, that's incredible. White Tara, look at the colors. Look at the colors. Interesting, hey? Nothing happens by accident. So sensitivity means, um, that's a lotus flower, divine feminine. So that's what I was talking about with you. A lot of that feminine energy, it is the pink um, as well. So that's Kuan Yin, White Tara, uh, but, you know, Kuan Yin's on top of the lotus as well. Um, so sensitivity is sensitivity to food, harsh environments, you know, people, all that sort of stuff. So just watching that at the moment, it will show also that uh, sometimes the immune system is compromised. Um, so making sure you're supporting that with good food, plant-based, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and not exposing yourself to harsh environments because you can be easily triggered um, at the moment. Now, this is feminine as well. A lot of feminine stuff here going on with you. Receptivity. So that is feminine, you know, receiving, uh, not always giving. You know, giving is a masculine, receiving is a feminine. So getting in touch with the feminine, you're aware of that though, that's past into now. So that would have already been happening. In the present, it's patience. So we're not rushing everything. Um, everything is working out for our greatest good and highest purpose. Um, the dove, of course, is a symbol for peace uh, sitting there. But we don't want to try to control things. We just have to go with the flow a little bit, which is also feminine. A lot of feminine energy coming up around you. Leap of faith is taking that risk. That will be a bit of the action. That will be in that soul plexus yang energy, masculine. So we all need a little bit of masculine moving forward. But at the moment, it's very soft, very feminine, rose quartz, pink. Um, so all very soft. Sabi, hopefully that makes sense with what's going on in your life uh, at the moment. Now, Maxine Dilts is after a card as well. So let's come to Maxine. Uh, Maxine, I'm going to use Nature's Whispers, I think, for you. Um, if you're coming on, hello. Nice to see you. I'm Michelle Uprice, a light worker. You can see that in uh, next to my head here. I always point the wrong way. Um, so if you wanted to connect with me, I do have a, um, you know, a link in this post. Um, yay. I'm so excited for you, Brie. Um, I do have a link in this post and you can click um, there and check my availability and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Melanie Hall, I will do that for you, my friend. Melanie Hall, beautiful angel girl that she is. She gave me the Romance Angel deck, so they're actually her cards that I use. Um, these are Melanie's cards. Lovely. Very generous. Sent them up for me. Um, yes, no. Op done in six months. Yes, no. Melanie, let me ask for you. Op in six months. Um, and if it doesn't come up around the six month mark, uh, then we can ask, you know, around that as well. Dates, times, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll figure it out. Hey, Maxine Dilks. I'm just going to do Nature's Whispers for Maxine. These are beautiful. The artist does all the beautiful watercolors, a lot of color, a lot of hidden images, uh, faces. You've got to look very closely at these cards. Um, they're absolutely beautiful, Maxine. I just want to come into your energy and see what I need to know here uh, with yourself. Uh, Maxine, one thing I do want to say with you is becoming more conscious, becoming more conscious. Yeah. So sometimes we live in that subconscious where I sort of 
feeling like things are happening to us, we're sort of being guided along, you're becoming more conscious, more awakened is what I want to say. Uh, but conscious in particular is what spirit wants to say, uh, more conscious. So that is a bit of an awakening. Um, just notice, you know, things are a little bit different um, with you. Uh, you may notice dreams and things more vivid, that sort of thing. Um, but I just want to say a little bit more conscious, which is great. A bit of an awakening happening. Um, also very interested with you in like um, stars and looking up stars. So whether it's like making a wish um, or more astrological speaking, um, but I'm looking at the stars in particular. So looking up, there could be something interesting in that for you. If it is astrology, constellations, that sort of thing. Um, that is looking up at the stars for me. Let me just pull some cards here. Um, one thing I do want to say, Maxine, is grounding. I feel like tailbone on the earth. So if you can go out and sit on the grass or something like that or dirt, um, connecting tailbone to the earth, I really want to do that with you. So root chakra in particular, I need a little bit more grounding through there for you. Now, these are lovely. Wow. Wow. Make a wish is here, huh? Make a wish. It's confirmed. Uh, illumination. Isn't that amazing? Um, so that's the full moon. That's when we get rid of stuff. So it's past into now, getting rid of whatever doesn't serve our greatest good and highest purpose. That's the uh, full moon. But it's illumination. It's casting light on. Isn't that amazing? She's riding along on this magic sort of big fly looking moth thing. I think it's a moth. Um, she's riding along. She's got the beautiful butterfly on her back as well. So butterfly is rebirth, but they're heading for the moon. Yeah. If moon is very uh, feminine, you know, lunar cycle, you know, that's what governs our cycles as women. So illumination is casting more light on definitely an awakening. My friend, that is positive um, confirmation. Now this is interesting because this is a crescent moon. That's a master number, but the crescent moon and the stars up in the corner here. Very interesting because the next card actually supports what I was saying about the stars. So this is making a decision, 11 to master number, so it is generally around life purpose and that sort of thing. But you can see it split down the middle. The card is sort of split right down the middle, the coloring and all of that. It's like all golden and then all blue and colorful on the other side. So it's really split down the middle. So we can't fence it. We need to make a decision. Are we going to do this and pull our energy into that or we're not going to do it? So making a decision, yeah, not fence sitting. Now <laughs> making a wish, look at that, that's the stars. Isn't it amazing how they do that? So stars are often make a wish, but that's a dandelion as well. The little Santa Claus, you sort of blow and uh, make a wish. So we want you to ask for what you want. So put it out there to spirit, you know, ask what you want. Don't be afraid. You've got to ask for you to receive, you know, um, and so you'll be willing to receive, which is a feminine. The asking is masculine. Feminine is receiving that thing coming back to you. So make a wish, my friend, ask for what you want. Bottom of the deck is being gentle with yourself, being kind, compassionate. So it's a little around the lines of sensitivity. What I was saying about sensitivity before, being set off by harsh environments, you know, people, um, foods, you know, that sort of thing. So just watching that, uh, being nice and gentle and encouraging yourself as well. What's a compassion for you, Maxine? Um, hopefully that makes sense where you're at at the moment. Um, Maxine, I do want to say, Spirit just wanted me to point out the um, hieroglyphics. So the Egyptian connection there um, in her wings. So I just wanted to point that out as well. There's quite a few Egyptian connections there. You've also got the pyramids down in the corner too and the camel. Um, so a bit of Egyptian. It could be past life. Let's make the spirit want me to point that out, that particular point. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Johanna Helen Thomas, business, growing list and client base. Johanna, I'm going to use life purpose, I think, for that. Um, so I'm just going to have a look at those. Now, thank you, everyone, for coming online. I really appreciate you all tuning in, watching this show. Um, oh, beautiful. Past when I was 16. Wow. Wow. Ashley, I'm going to uh, do that for you, hon. You've drawn my attention. Um, I'm just going to pop you down in the mediumship section up here. Uh, so this is mum. Beautiful. So I'm just going to pop that down. I'll bring through a few messages from mum. Obviously, it is quite a um, quick connection here. One-on-one, -on -one we do a lot more, uh, go into a lot more detail. Uh, 26, not really feeling, I don't know, Georgia, Sue's trying to my first note. Ah, wow. Ashley, that's, um, that's not easy, hey? Postnatal depression. I'm just going to put that down, make a note. Um, Ashley, I will come to you, so don't go anywhere. Um, just stay online and I will come to you, absolutely. Um, Lisa, wow. Tomorrow, do you see us being successful? Um, let's ask yes or no, Lisa. Lisa Cash is having a look at a rental tomorrow. Um, rental, yes or no. Let's do a yes or no. That's easy, hey? And then we can um, bust it out with the uh, pendulum. So popping that down. Uh, nice questions tonight. I love the business questions. Uh, Maxine, great. Making sense for Maxine. Uh, you'll be making a wish. Good news. Good news. Maxine's going to be making her beautiful wish. Um, just making sure I haven't missed too many people. Um, Romina, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, let's do some cards, Romina. Romina is watching on Spiritual Events Directory tonight. If you'd like to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, you can click on the link in this post and click book now and check my availability. <clears throat> Romina, I'll have a look at work, career, that sort of thing. 
and see what we can do there. Uh, so put me on my list. Um, but yeah, if you want to get in touch, I do a beautiful reading healing combo, which is lovely. We do a reading and finish with a healing. Um, I'm a pranic energy healer and Reiki practitioner. I also mentor. So if you want to develop and discover your gifts, I do mentorship face-to-face -face and also online. Um, so yeah, whatever tickles your fancy. Um, I do have clients overseas and that sort of thing. So wherever you are in the world, not a problem. I'm based in Australia though. Um, Johan Helen Thomas, business growing list and client base. Let me just come out to you. I just want to check with uh, business and what I need to know around this for you. And then I'm going to... Uh, Come to a couple more people, um, but I've got quite a few on my list already, but I will continue to add to that. Now, um, Jahan, what I want to say is guidance. So um, mentor, you know, getting someone who, um, you know, who knows about this sort of thing, um, getting some information, getting some assistance. So it may be like a business coach or something like that, um, but I just want to say information. Um, if that's what you're doing, fantastic. Um, you know, that may be the profession, um, but I'm just getting that sort of uh, vibe. You know, mentor someone who knows more than you do, um, giving you actual, this is how you do it, this is how you do it. Uh, marketing is what I want to say. So marketing, promotion, putting yourself out there. It feels a lot of communication this throat space um, it feels like you know putting yourself out there um, so it's a, it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable um, that it is all all through here communication communication with you um, so marketing and promotion that's what I want to say um, we need to do that more yeah so really make sure that we're seen getting eyes on uh, us you know Facebook ads and stuff like that not so bad you know you can pay for them get it out there get it out to more people um, but marketing and promotion is what I want to say um, is definitely really key here let me just draw some cards I just want to see where we're at um, I want to say you've got to spend money to make money. So it's like advertising dollars for me. So it may even be like advertising, radio, newspaper, that sort of thing. Um, but you've got to spend money to make money. So it's sort of show me advertising. Um, so see if that resonates with you. Um, but it does feel like a little bit of money we've got to spend. Uh, spend to make it. Now, career change is there. Great. Um, so supporting what we're doing with business. So it's something a little bit different from what I was doing before. Uh, talking to angels is asking. So prayer. Same as what I was just saying before. So this is uh, putting it out there, ask what you need. So if it's like you want to promote it more, you know, guys, I need some guidance around this. You know, I need to know the right people to connect with, da, da, da. But for me, it's marketing, promotion, advertising. You know, spend money to make money, talk to your angels. So I'm um, putting it out there. Now, nutrition is in the present. So whether we're working with nutrition yourself, um, diet, you know, exercise, that sort of thing. Uh, but the nutrition card is in the present. So I'll get a bit more guidance around that. I'm not sure how that's going to fit in. Um, I do feel like with this, um, you know, catering, whether you've got hospitality catering sort of experience, um, but I do feel like there's some sort of knowledge around that. Um, it comes up as sort of catering or something like that. So to see if that resonates. Moving forward, it's artists. So this is uh, really creating. So this A is creating the life that you want, um, you know, the way it looks, you know, all of that sort of stuff really in charge with you. But also this allows you to be creative. Um, so, you know, color, you know, for me, really important for you. Color, um, you know, definitely using the senses. So wherever it is, like the food and, and that sort of thing, literally. But it really is using the senses um, for me with you. Good sense of, um, you know, smell, taste, you know, sight, all that sort of stuff. Using your abilities. Uh, but that's creating, creating exactly what you want. Um, but I definitely feel like I've got to spend money to make money. Um, and that's definitely one not what I tell everyone. Um, it's not what I tell everyone. Let me just touch nutrition. I just want to see if there's anything additional. The other thing I want to say with you is lighten the mood a little bit. Um, so lighten the mood, lots of, um, you know, fun, laughter, have fun with this. Um, you know, we can get a little bit serious. Um, so buffalo remedies, that sort of thing can be really good. But I want to lighten the mood a little bit too. So not too serious, yes, because um, otherwise we can stifle um, and really crush and make things harder than they need to be. Um, all right, Elsie General. Elsie, Elsie, where am I going? I always do fairies for Elsie. I might do something different, Elsie. Um, maybe Nature's Whispers for Elsie. Do I want to do Nature's Whispers? Uh, let's do that. Now, I do have these new decks here. Um, so they're my newbies, and they're absolutely beautiful. I've been using them a lot during my mentorship classes and things like that, just drawing cards for people. So they're really gorgeous. Um, so if you want anything specific, um, let me know, and maybe I'll come to those decks for you. Often with those ones, it's spirit guide, you know, high vibrational type stuff. Um, um, so, you know, we'll just see what comes through, but let me know if there is anything along those lines. Um, and we can definitely have a look at that for you. Um, Elsie, just going to come around to you for general now. Uh, let me know what you need. If you are just popping in, I might just scroll down a bit further down to the bottom. Actually, I've got your name written down, my friend. Debbie, hello. Bajali. Uh, relationship. Um, Bajali. I am putting you down. Um, I haven't seen your name before, so it's nice to see you if you are a first timer. Uh, rough time relationship. Relationship. So, um, let me do some romance angels for you. Bajali, a bit rough. Um, so, let's have a look at that. What are we doing? What could we be doing? Let's try and sort that out, Bajali. I've put you down. So, um, that is really good. Now, I've got a yes, no here. Belinda Shemper's employment. Uh, Belinda, I'm going to ask yes or no. 
And let's go by the months. So it's no use of me saying, is she ever going to be employed again? Because that's probably going to be yes, um, employment. But I will try to go by month by month and we can go out and see, you know, how long we might be waiting for. Remember, a lot of this is going to be free will. Um, so it really depends on you putting in the work, doing the searches, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So as long as you're willing to put the work in, um, then I can definitely uh, have a look at that for you. Uh, but there is always work required. So Elsie, you're just going to have a look for yourself tonight. What does Elsie need to know? And then I'm doing a couple of mediumship inquiries. So Latoya and Ashley are going to do some mediumship for those ladies. And then Kimmy Vogel, I'm coming to you after that. Sarah Kay, um, it's Tina after that. And then we've got some pendulum. Yes or no? Yes or no? Um, we'll have a look at that. Now, Elsie. Oh, goose. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Elsie, someone's here for you. Someone's here for you. I've got goosebumps everywhere. Um, love matters. Love. Love. Yes. Um, source energy. Source is the most powerful energy. That's all that matters. Yeah. So it's like when someone's saying something to us we don't like, sending your love, sending your love, sending your healing, all of that sort of stuff. Love is all conquering. Um, the dove is peace. It symbolizes peace. And also in there with that little um, boat, that represents family for me. So the boat inside the dove, which is peace, in indicates fa uh, peace around family and trusting that. Um, there's a lot of doves there. And um, also the boat down the bottom in the image, there's another boat down the bottom. So this is source energy. Surround yourself with source. Nothing else matters beyond that. There's a little shooting star there too. Spirit just wanted me to show you that shooting star. And that's make a wish. Like what I was saying with the other lady, make a wish. Uh, wish for things to be the way that you want them. Uh, put it out there. Yeah. Um, infinite blessings in the present. Look at this. All the amazing things coming your way, my friend. Now that's an understanding of giving thanks for. And you're very good at that. So giving thanks, giving gratitude, putting that out there brings more good things. Infinite blessings and more great things coming your way because of all the love and gratitude that you're giving out um, to others. Now inner truths, there's going to be a bit of a, um, a light cast on a few things in life. So... Whether that's, you know, people around you uh, looking deep within yourself, you can see there's a lot of doorways, a lot of openings here, and that's really exploring. So moving forward, there's going to be an opportunity for you to explore uh, deep, you know, within yourself. Um, it's going to make you, you know, put you to the test a little bit, really going within, uh, but doing a lot of healing moving forward. So this is a lot of uh, self inner work reflection um, for you. Now, pause is not the time to act at the moment. Four is receiving, allowing others to help you, allowing others to help, putting your hand up. You can't do it all. So pause at the moment. We're having a bit of rest and recuperation for yourself. Don't overdo it. Yeah. So hopefully that makes sense, Elsie. I'm sure it will. Um, and I'm going to put those cards to one side. Um, Latoya, just going to come into mediumship. So I'm going to grab the butterfly deck over here. Um, welcome, whoever is coming in at the moment. Welcome. If you're just coming in, I'm Michelle Our Price of Lightworker. I do angel or oracle cards. Uh, I've got tarot. I do have a tarot, animal tarot, um, and they're quite fun. Um, and I've got this beautiful new deck. So that's the animal tarot there. I don't do a lot of tarot. So I'm still sort of learning how to read those, but they're my newbies as well. Um, angels and ancestors, Kyle Gray, amazing card maker. I've never had his cards before, but my God, he's good. Really, really good. I'm really enjoying those. Uh, Latoya, I am coming to you now. So we're talking to grandmother, Elsie. Hopefully that made sense, my friend. Uh, Latoya, just going to come to you for grandmother. Just checking out of here. Um, Latoya, what I'm going to say here, goosebumps, is the energy is, um, is quite ancient and I'm not saying she was ancient herself, but it's like, it's like very ancestral for me. So ancestral. Um, so when I say sort of ancient, I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, in fact, I feel like I'm going to use different cards. I'm going to use these ones. I'm going to use those ones, the, uh, angel and ancestor. I'm going to use those. Um, usually I use my butterfly when I do mediumship, but, um, yeah, no, I'm going to use these. Um, certainly in Facebook lives I do anyway. Um, so these are going to be different cards. I'm going to use these. Now, I do want to say, Latoya, just notice this. With your grandmother, uh, my knees are freezing. Knees are really cold. Um, that will show lack of circulation. Circulation, not so good. I'm not as mobile. Uh, knees are really cold, uh, in particular for me, as she comes into the room. Um, Latoya, one thing I do want to say to you is a little bit of grieving going on because my body's shaking. Um, so with yourself or grandmother, um, there's a bit of grieving, you know, letting go, uh, grieving. So uh, grief can be relationship breakups, um, you know, losing someone you really love, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm shaking a little bit and I always talk about that because if there's any grief that my body needs to do, um, it will shake. Um, so I'm allowing that to happen at the moment. Just wanted to draw your attention to that as well. Um, one thing I do want to say from grandmother to yourself is rug up, stay warm. So it's like I'm putting a shawl around your arms. I feel very protected, uh, protective, I should say. And so, sure, keep warm, keep warm. Um, so with you, making sure that, you know, you're not getting run down. Uh, but I want to say, sure, keep warm in particular. Um, also around womb space, that's creative center, but also around womb space. Um, I want to do that as well. Now, let me just draw these. These are the um, angels and, um, what are they, ancestors? Yeah, angels and ancestors, Kyle Gray. Really good cards if you want another card deck. 
Um, I'm sure many of you have your own cards who are watching tonight. But I just want to draw some of these. Now, these often spirit guides and that sort of thing will come out for me, Latoya. Um, wow, amazing. Now, this is nice. This is good confirmation. So passed into now as a heart guardian. So that's receiving. Um, so being able to allow love to come in, that's really um, heart space for me, rose quartz, you know, that sort of thing, softening. Uh, compassion for yourself. Um, but heart guardian, yeah, number one. So that's passing to now. That's learning uh, self-compassion, um, self-esteem, you know, self-love, really um, loving self, you know, giving back to self-receiving. Now, this is retreat, nothing uh, dramatic here, similar to the last lady that I just read for Elsie. Um, Hermit is retreating, going within. So it's creating space, um, allowing yourself to get the information you need to get. Um, you need to create space for that to happen. A lot of the time we're running around and we're like, oh God, I've got no clarity. I'm, you know, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's because we're not giving ourselves a space. You need to retreat. You need to go within and you need to give yourself the space to download. Um, now, this moving forward is magic for you. High Priestess. So that will indicate probably past life that you had some sort of mystical sorceress type abilities, powers. Uh, the cat obviously is worshipped in Egypt, um, in Egyptian culture. Um, so that indicates that you have some healing and magic ability uh, moving forward. So we're going to tap into that, start to tap into that. So just notice that as it comes to fruition, as it comes to your awareness, um, there's going to be really interesting things happening with you. Notice dreams as well, because you may actually find that you've got, um, you know, hieroglyphics popping in. You know, before I was pointing out the hieroglyphics in one of these cards for someone else. Um, so you may notice in dreams that that happens, um, or all of a sudden you've got, um, you know, different visions and, um, you know, uh, images, you know, that you may not recognize popping in. Um, so Latoya, hopefully that makes sense. Ashley Nork, I'm going to come back to the butterflies. Um, and you're going through a lot yourself with postnatal. Um, mum has passed over um, some time ago, Ashley. So let me just have a look over here um, and just connect to mum. <clears throat> Ashley, what I want to say, it's really funny, um, is, you know, the way, yeah, very, very cool. It's a bit of a temperature drop. She's uh, coming nice and close, which is great for me. Um, what I want to say, it's like you've changed so much, changed so much. And from 16 to 26, you know, obviously you would, but it's like, I can't believe how much you've grown, you know? I can't believe how much you've grown. It's like, you know, not that we change much in height from 16 to 26, but it's like so so many changes, so different um, in that 10-year period. Um, there's also acknowledgement of um, your own child, your own daughter, um, so acknowledgement of that as well. Um, but with you, so many, so many changes, so many changes with you in particular is what I want to acknowledge. Yeah. Actually, what I want to say to you is you're very hard on yourself. We can't be perfect. We can't be perfect. Now, this is around your mothering. So I'm going to talk about mothering. Uh, we can't be perfect always. So this is about letting go of control, just allowing yourself to do your thing the way that you want to do it. Um, it does feel like a, a tendency to be um, wanting to do it perfectly and that sort of thing, a lot of pressure. Um, and pressure is not a good thing. Expectation is not a good thing. So really just doing it your way, you know, being not being afraid to make mistakes is what I want to say. Um, certainly she has learned this, you know, because once you're on this side, you see everything a lot different. Um, but that's something that I've learned over here. It's like you you can make mistakes. They can fall and scratch their, scrape their knees and they get up and they do it again. And then they learn from that. So I just want to ease the pressure off. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure that you put on yourself to perform um, and be perfect. And then, you know, um, things happen and we're not coping. Um, so we need to make sure that you're easing the pressure off. Asking for help as well. I feel like you need a break. So, you know, calling on someone else, you know, to look after your child and that sort of thing. Uh, put your hand up. You know, I need a break. I'm not coping at the moment. You do need time away from time away from even if it's half an hour an hour whatever it is um we need to get someone to step in um and give us a little bit of a break yes you need some time away from your little one um definitely now um, we need to break that um it's like breaking the cycle for me as well actually see if that makes sense um it feels like breaking a cycle so whether it's like i'm getting into this kind of downward you know spiral you know spiraling down like that we want to break the cycle with you um so taking time out yeah really important um let me just draw some cards these are butterflies these are life changes now, pink flowers are coming up for me in particular. See if that fits with mama pink flowers. Um, so they will give me particular, you know, cards. Often when they um, show me those flowers, it will usually be on the card as well. I'm um, just connecting me to the uh, pink flowers, yes? So that will, will sometimes be to do with, um, you know, the funeral, you know, that sort of thing, what they would have had at their funeral. Um, but pink flowers, and there aren't really pink flowers here. So I have to say it may have something to do with um, her passing. Now, seeking and finding is looking for the answers. You know, we've got questions. We need to find the answers. That's a seeker. So that's the same as me. This is a person when they're growing up asking a lot of questions. You know, I'm always, I want to know the answer to this. I want to know the answer to that. How is the moon formed? Where did the sun come from? Stuff like that. So you're a real seeker, which is great. In the present, it is action. 
So not hesitating, not procrastinating. We need to take the next step um, without hesitation for you. Now, joining in is getting back out there, being more social. That's upside down. So that means I'm not doing enough of it. We need to put ourselves out there. So what I was saying before about having a little break is, you know, this is really take the next step is asking for help, you know, putting your hand up, I need a break. Um, this one is actually putting myself back out there socially, you know, being normal, interacting, talking to other people, that sort of thing, um, and having the break away from your little one. Um, now, windfall and finances both together. Uh, windfall and finances. So there is going to be assistance with that with the money. So don't worry about that. Mum's going to be assisting with that for you. Uh, windfall finances both together. Um, so hopefully that all makes sense. Ashley, um, you're doing well. You're doing well, but less pressure on yourself. Very high standards. You know, it can be tough, you know, putting that much pressure on yourself to perform in a particular way. Uh, Kimmy Vogel, starting business. Yes or no? Yes or no? Um, Kimmy, I'm going to do some cards as opposed to just the pendulum. So we'll do some cards. I'm going to use the psychic reading cards. Uh, they are the uh, phoenix on the front of the deck. Tazzy, wow, wow, great question, Tazzy, great question. Um, Tazzy, yes, I've just drawn, you have drawn my attention. Um, what a fabulous question. Indigenous and in, what would be from my Aboriginal ancestry? Um, Tazzy is watching on my page, Michelle Price, the light worker. If you haven't liked it, definitely like it. We do join Facebook lives. We do static card draws once a week. Um, there's a lot happening on there in my private group, I should say. That's in the private group. <coughs> oh, Crystal. Hello. Hello. Um, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, elders, assist or other families. I'm just going to put down question mark elders and I'm going to do the um, new cards that I've got, uh, Tazzy. So I'm just going to highlight that so I know which cards I'm doing. So I'm going to use those uh, new cards that I've got and get some guidance around that for you. Uh, Sarah K Journal, um, actually Kimmy Vogel, starting business. Uh, just going to have a look around Kimmy. Um, uh, Kimmy, what I want to say with you is just get that uh, womb space back into alignment for me. Uh, womb space is a little bit out, so sacral, um, that's creative center, that sort of thing. I'm quite drawn to that part of the body. Um, so just try and get that, that back into alignment. It could be just through warmth, uh, nurturing, hands-on, uh, also heat packs and things like that. Um, I feel like I need to do a little bit of that. I feel a little bit with your life force, a little bit drained too. Um, so I feel like I need to recharge as well. Citrine uh, for solar plexus as well. So citrine's coming up around the yang energy. Um, so really get yourself energized, you know, get your energy... Um, um, nice and charged up. So not acting immediately. Um, we need to do a few things, get a few things in order uh, before we actually start this. But it does have good vibes around it. I do feel like um, an ability to, you know, make money. Um, so it does feel abundance, um, yeah, infinite. Uh, everything goes on, nothing ends. Um, infinity, so that's a good one. Really good. The eight, obviously, um, is abundance, prosperity. Um, underneath that is abundance as well. So we've got abundance and abundance. The eight, um, infinity, has a couple of different meanings. But that is good because they're side by side. Um, planting some seeds here. This is great. Planting some seeds, letting them grow. So that's just putting it out there, putting the feelers out there. Sometimes two and nine to 11, which is a master number. It does have a lot to do with life purpose for me. Um, but seedlings, we're putting them in the ground, seeing what grows, seeing what sprouts. Yeah. So that's past into now. Um, so it's just an idea at that point. Um, time, awareness of time, you know, time's getting away from me. I haven't done enough in my life. I'm this old and da, 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 all of that sort of stuff. Level three is great strength. So this is life experience. So thinking about this with your business is putting your life experience into this. Yes, time is ticking, uh, but there is ideal times for us to move um, and take action. At the moment, I want to charge up your energy a bit more um, because it is going to require a bit of energy to sort of manage this, um, what you're going to be doing. Um, so double three, very great strength. Um, then tree of life is upside down, three and five, which is eight, another eight. Um, tree of life. So that's our knowledge, wisdom. That's where we can go to really tap into, um, you know, what we need to know in this life. Um, it's also where um, the belief is where the souls gather and that sort of thing as well. Uh, but knowledge and wisdom, knowledge and wisdom. So tapping into that moving forward, there's going to be some downloads happening with you, um, information coming through this way, channeling um, through meditation, you know, that sort of thing uh, moving forward. So tapping into that energy. Uh, wood energy in the body is also related to uh, masculine. Um, so that's the yang as well. So really getting that yang energy in your body sorted out um, so we can move forward with that. Sarah Kay, just going to have a look at you. Um, so I'm using the same cards. These are the psychic reading, um, which is the phoenix. Now, if you want to get in touch with me, there is a link in this post. You can click on that and click book now um, if you would like to get in touch. Now, um, Sarah, the eagle has just dropped out on the desk. So I just want to show you that. Um, so Sarah Kay, I'm nearly with you, Brie, not too far off now. Um, it's me, not Tazzy. Oh, Colleen, are you asking on behalf of Tazzy? Is that you? Is that what's going on here? 
Um, questions for Colleen. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, Colleen, I'm just going to pop you. That's confusing. You're using Tassie's account. Um, Tassie Crumpton or Tassie was asking your behalf. Okay. Uh, just put that down for Colleen. Um, now, whoops, eagle, freedom, flying above, not getting involved in the story, rising, in, raising vibration. Yeah. Sarah, uh, that's number one. So just general for Sarah tonight. Just going to have a look at a couple more. Then I'm going to do pendulum and uh, see what we need to know here. Um, okay, so let's have a look at Sarah. Um, Sarah, just feeling into abundance at the moment. I feel like there could be a little bit of a um, bit of a block, a bit of a resistance or something like that with abundance, especially abundance for me. So just noticing that whether there's something around, um, you know, thoughts of lack, you know, anything like that where I could be stopping the flow. Um, there's something going on with that for me at the moment. Now, three monkeys is see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. So that's turning a blind eye. It's just stuff that I don't want to deal with or talk about. So just having a think about that and how that applies with yourself, the three monkeys on the bottom of the deck. Now we've got the eagle. We've also got celebration in the present, which is awesome. So something amazing happening. Um, could be a breakthrough. It does feel like a bit of a breakthrough. Um, just notice any resistance that we have at the moment um, to, you know, making money abundance, you know, inviting all of that in. Uh, but we've got reason to celebrate. So that's a bit of a breakthrough. Um, so coming to terms with, you know, awakening, um, that sort of thing. Six can be pessimism though as well for me. So different things for different people, but six is a bit pessimistic. So just keeping your chin up, uh, nice and positive for you. Rainbows are signs from spirit. We're on the right track. Two and eight is one, breaking down to one, new beginnings. So noticing the rainbows, that signs from spirit. You can see the little red uh, coins coming down as well. So it represents prosperity and abundance. Um, but asking for, you know, confirmation. And that's confirmation for me. I want to see a rainbow, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I'm on the right track. You know, they're a sign that we're on the right track. Uh, new beginnings, moving forward. Um, but just notice anything around uh, any blocking um, that I might be doing, resistance. Um, but see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Also, addressing the elephant in the room. Um, so just not letting that sweep under the carpet. We don't want to sweep it under the carpet. Um, Tina Malloy, romance. Um, Tina Malloy, let's have a look at Tina Malloy and romance. I'm just going to grab the romance angels over here. Um, now, I know a lot of you are hanging on, and I have got a lot of names written down already. And I will come to as many people as possible. Now, if you um, if I haven't mentioned your name already, then um, that's okay. I may still come to you. Um, just keep posting and commenting. And uh, oh, Michelle, that's interesting. Um, seven for me is divine, so it's like ascended masters, angels, you know, um, ascended beings, um, high vibrational. Um, Oh, that's funny. Uh, Brie, no problem at all. No problem. I haven't missed it yet, so that's totally fine. i um, just going to have a look over. Ooh, 109. Uh, but my grandfather was born in the year 1990. Wow. Wow, Michelle, that's profound. That's really profound. Uh, yes, of course you can, Michelle. Um, you've got my attention, uh, Xavier. Just popping you down. Uh, Xavier, gosh, we've got heaps of time. I got online um, on time tonight. I'm always late normally. Um, card, and I just feel like I've got lots and lots and lots of time, lots of time. Um, Zane, hello. Uh, Michelle, I've got you on my list. Um, health, wow, okay, Sarah Lennon. Um, health, I'm going to have a look around health for you. We'll see if we can um, bring Stepdad in as well. I normally do all the mediumship together, but we'll just see how we go. Health, I'm going to pop you down, Sarah Lemon. Uh, Lennon, rather, how do I have lemon down? Oh my god, Lennon, uh, that is definitely not lemon. Um, parenting makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, beautiful. Um, that often happens. Hey, uh, actually, oh, gosh, I really feel for you, sweetheart. I really feel for you. All my partner's parents. Um, yeah. So just ask for assistance, even from partner's parents. Um, I do feel quite alone in your shoes, Ashley. Um, but you know, even connecting with, you know, a spiritual group, you know, online and that sort of thing, um, would be really great, you know, really, really great for you to do that. Um, I really feel like I want to reach out cause I do feel quite alone, um, in your shoes. And I really do feel that, um, Emily Trahern, I'm just coming to you as well. Uh, guidance, Emily, I'm putting you on my list. Now, if I have mentioned your name, please stick around cause I like to get feedback and make sure that I am on track. Sorry for the, I'm a bit la uh, nasally. I've been unwell the past week, so I'm just sort of getting back on my feet. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, is Belinda on here as well, Maxine? Oh, all my little mentorship people are on here. I'm like, oh, they're all on here. Uh, Tina Malloy, romance. Just going to come to you, Tina. Um, let's have a look around that. What's going on with Tina and romance? Let's draw some cards and just get some guidance around that. Uh, welcome, 
to the show. If you are just popping in, let me know what you need, if you need guidance or anything. Now, I do stay online afterwards, and uh, if there's any questions and that sort of thing, or you need me to help you with the booking, um, then feel free to message, and I do stay online and um, just watch as those messages come through. So feel free to do that after the show as well. You can DM me during the show um, if you've got questions and that sort of thing. Um, and I can definitely provide assistance. Now, this is nice, hey? This is nice. Um, okay, so we've got passion passed into now. Um, this is romance, Tina. Um, so passion passed into now. So we know what that feels like. Um, we've been there, done that. So that's that real lusty, you know, strong chemical, chemistry, physical, you know, all of that stuff, passion. Um, so we know what that feels like. Now, in the present, this one's upside down. So what I want to make sure of is the person who is around or coming in, um, that they align with our spiritual and or religious beliefs. So that's going to be really important for you. So sometimes we sort of go, oh, you know, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is going to be important. So religious and spiritual factors um, need to align uh, theirs and yours. Yeah. So really having to think about that, that's upside down at the moment. So whether we put it to one side, we've allowed, you know, made allowances for, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, moving forward now, this can be um, children, actual children, you know, yours, uh, his, um, but also in a child, it can relate to inner child. Um, the children having an impact. Um, it does feel living children though for me. Um, so it does feel like children having an impact. We've got to, you know, pour, give some thought there. Uh, that will have an impact on, you know, who we're bringing into our life, um, the children moving forward. So children in the relationship. Now, worth waiting for means that, generally speaking, um, this person is coming in. So that's divine timing, bringing that person in uh, for you. So worth waiting for. So it does feel like that energy is coming in. Uh, so just doing a little bit of work at the moment. Tina, um, hopefully that makes sense for you. Brie, I'm just going to do some um, yes, no. So Brie is here ready to go. I'm going to do some yes, no's with my pendulum. I'm just going to grab my um, spirit guide and ask him to stand out in front of me so we can do... A little bit of pendulum, hey? A little bit of pendulum. If you have any yes, no's, please let me know. Um, and I'm more than happy to have a look at that for you. Um, so just let me know what you need. I'm just going to go, Emily, thank you for the beautiful stars. Um, yes, beautiful. Um, Emily just sent some stars through. Now, I think I'm looking at Emily. Yes, I am. Um, so we'll come to you, definitely. Um, hello, hello. Um, just scrolling down to the bottom. Just scrolling down to the bottom. Um, okay. Now I'm all the way down. Now, um, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Yes or no. Now, if you have yes or no's you need answered, um, then let me know. And I will definitely try and come to you. Just going to have a look at my guide over here and make sure I've got a good connection. Okay. Um, all right. So Brie, uh, girl or boy, girl or boy, girl or boy. Um, so Brie, are we having a girl or a boy? Uh, sorry, I should, what am I doing? Uh, is it a girl? Let's ask one question at a time. Hey, is it a girl? Hang on. Um, so thank you. Um, is it a girl? Are we having a girl? Um, okay. Thank you. So that's a no for me. Um, are we having a boy? Are we having a boy? Uh, Brie, I've got a yes for boy. Um, so no to girl, yes to boy. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, that may be what you're vibing already. Uh, Melanie, yes or no, op in six months. So I'm just going to ask, are we having the operation for Melanie Hall in six months? So Melanie Hall, are we having the operation in six months? And if not, um, then I'll get a bit more specific operation in six months. Melanie, I'm getting a yes, hun. Getting a yes for that. You can see that's clockwise, yeah? Um, so that's good. That's a yes for Melanie. Um, operation in six months. Um, Lisa Cash, a rental. We're looking at a rental tomorrow. Um, is it going to come through for us? Um, so Lisa Cash, rental. Um, is this going to come through for us tomorrow? We're having a look at the rental. Uh, Lisa, I'm getting a yes. Getting a yes for that. Uh, that is a clockwise direction as well. So you can see it works well. I mean, with the boy and girl different. Um, and then those two I've got a yes for. So definitely a yes. Um, Lisa, hopefully that answers your question. Best of luck with that. Romina, uh, work and career. Let me have a look at Romina. Uh, life purpose for you, my friend. That's what I'm going to do. Um, hello to everyone who's coming in tonight. Um, yes or no. Thank you for drawing to me. Tazzy, gosh, gosh. Um, lots of yes, no's. Love that. Um, oh, Lorraine Townsend. Yes, no, we move in August. Um, Lorraine Townsend. Will we move in August? Move in August. Let's do the question, uh, yes or no, move in August. And I'll do the pendulum for that. Beautiful. 
Um, gosh, we've got so much time when you get in um, on time. I'm oh, always late. I'm like, wow, I've got so much time. Uh, Romina Camille, work and career. Romina Camille, um, just going to come to you. So um, let's have a look around work and career. Um, Romina, what I want to say is up in your head, um, very much up in here, very busy, very busy, lots going on up here. Um, so sitting up in head space with you. So just watch that. Um, trying to do a little bit too much. It feels like spreading myself too thinly, a little bit too much, um, sitting up in head in particular. Um, Romina, I also want to say, um, getting guidance from, uh, getting guidance from others, you know, how do you do it? How do you manage your workload? Other women and that sort of thing. Uh, so female friends, you know, talking to others, you know, getting some guidance. How do you do it? Um, because as women, we feel like we're to do everything, you know, and we stretch ourselves pretty thin. Um, so I just want to make sure that, you know, cause still looking after the household, the family, all that stuff, um, that we're not spreading ourselves too thinly, but ask for guidance, get, um, information from others. How are you doing it? You know, how do you do it? Um, how do you leave on time? Yes. Um, so guidance is coming up for me. I'm just going to have a look at these cards. Let's go and just see what needs to happen. Um, I also want to say fun. It's like we need to have some lighthearted energy to sort of balance all of this out. It does feel like it can get a bit serious. Um, so I also want to say fun. It's like, what do you really enjoy doing hobbies, um, hobby wise? Um, you know, whether it's like camping, getting out and doing that sort of thing a bit more, um, it's a little bit lighter energy for me. So having that nice balance is something to look forward to. Yeah. So when you've got a holiday to look forward to, um, then that can sometimes lighten the energy a little bit. Now you are a teacher. Um, and I know you're not doing that in your career at the moment. Um, uh, but teacher is there, that's essentially what I do in my work, mentoring and that sort of thing. Uh, guidance was coming up. So that's interesting. So it could be, um, you doing a little bit of that too, you know, helping others. Um, but teaching, have a think about that. Um, cause it can come in all forms. It's not sort of sitting in front of a classroom necessarily. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, speaker in the past into now. So that's finding your voice a little bit. Um, it can be getting a platform. Um, this is my experience this is what I've been through using a life experience to help others and help heal others. Um, but using your voice is speaker justice in the present. So restoring justice where it feels like it's an injustice. Um, you know, that can be working with minority groups, um, people who've been through, you know, uh, shock, um, you know, trauma, you know, things where they seem unfair, you know, people who were picked on, bullied, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's like, I want to see everything fair. I want to see everything fair and just, um, in the present. So seeing if you can do that through your life purpose, it may not be what you're doing at the moment. Um, but this is life purpose. So I'm drawing around at the moment. Now career change indicates we're shifting into something different. So that's moving forward. That's a future card, but it does feel like moving into something different and teaching is on the bottom of the deck. So whether we can use our life experience, you know, help others, young people, you know, talking to that sort of thing, that's really where this is taking me. So seeing if that fits, but I just feel like, you know, trying to do everything is not going to work for you uh, long term. Um, it does feel like spreading myself very, very thinly. Um, now, Bajali Mirage, Romina, thank you so much. Relationship and romance. Uh, relationship is a bit rough. Bajali Mirage, just going to come to you. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Um, it is very exciting to have you all here watching. Um, I do do joint Facebook lives and things on my page. If you would like to, Claire, oh my God, hello. Hi. Um, Claire, one of my, one of my good girlfriends, Claire, actually I read for very early on in my career and she fell pregnant not long after that. So, um, here she is. Uh, I'm going to do a general for you, my love. Um, so nice to see you. So nice to see you. You must be having a little break from butters. Um, so nice to see you pop up. Peace bombs. Confirmation. Um, all right. Bajali Mirage. Sorry, I get very excited. Um, relationship romance is a bit, a little bit rough. So we're just going to have a look at Bajali Mirage. Um, Belinda, I'm coming to you after that. Uh, Tazzy, which is also Colleen Crumpton. Um, uh, Michelle Xavier. Whoops. Where did that go? Michelle Xavier. And I've got a couple of people over the page. Um, now Bajali relationship is a little bit rough. Let me have a look at yourself. Let me just check in with this situation here. Jolly, um, this has actually knocked out your root chakra grounding. So I want to get you out on the ground, sitting on the grass, you know, tree roots, um, you know, feet, uh, you know, through the tailbone, all of that really important grounding your energy. I feel like root chakra out of alignment. So making sure that you're doing that. I feel like I really need to connect to mother earth. Um, and that's going to help restore a bit of confidence. I feel like confidence has taken a bit of a knock as well with you. Um, so just restoring your connection, uh, tree roots are really important. Um, so you can see those traveling right down deep into the core of the earth, wrapping around the core of the earth. Um, and that would be really good for you to do. Um, throat space is interesting too, blue, um, coming up for me, throat space. So making sure that you are able to speak your truth, um, communication, honest, open, um, but throat space is coming up for me as well. I need you to speak your truth. You need to be heard. Um, that's really important. Um, otherwise it'll just sits in there. Now, wedding passed into now, wedding shows a commitment. Um, so it doesn't mean necessarily we walked down the aisle and, you know, said I do, but it does show a strong commitment for me. Um, that's passed into now. Now, in the present, it's a bit around self-love. So there's definitely that commitment there. 
And then this is self-love, loving yourself. So it does feel like what I was saying about the earth, you know, being outside, earthing yourself, grounding yourself, um, really feeling connected. Um, and it does feel like confidence has taken a bit of a hit. And that's really good confirmation of that. So knowing that this is just a lesson, the other person, whatever they're doing, saying is actually, um, you know, reflecting things back to yourself so you can deal with them. It's triggering, you know, for a reason. So whatever's being reflected to you, let's deal with that and we'll work with that. So I get triggered. Thank you. You know, thank you was the answer. Thank you for triggering me. I'm going to go away and do some work. Now, this one's upside down, and this is what I want restored with you too, is playfulness. We need to have fun, uh, lighten the energy. So it's upside down. We're not doing enough of that, but moving forward, we're going to do more of that. So that's you up to your um, you know, your work. This is free will. You need to do the work, but that's what I'm encouraging you to do is more of this lighthearted energy. Now, past life relationship is here, and that shows a connection before. So you know, when you meet that person, it's usually I recognize them immediately. Uh, we talked for hours. Everything was pretty easy. Um, you know, and certainly in the past, we got the wedding car, which is the strong connection, making that commitment, uh, past life connection as well. So it does indicate that person has had a past life connection with you. So this is often karmic, you know, it's karmic stuff. We've got to heal um, and work through it, and that can be painful. There's definitely some triggering going on for Charlie. Um, but just thank that person because that's important. You know, you get triggers so that you can actually deal with stuff. Um, so it's very, very important for you to do that. Um, Charlie, best of luck with that. Belinda Shempers, um, employment. Are we going to find some employment? Um, actually, I think I can just do pendulum for you. Um, so employment, and then I can get a bit more detailed here. Um, so are we going to find some employment? I'm just going to check in with my guide over here. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, Belinda Shempers, I just want to ask about employment for Belinda. Belinda, what I want to say is the way that they're showing me, sorry, just before I do the pendulum, is they're showing me the bubble burst. So it's like, whether that's like literally, you know, in sense of your, um, you know, the workplace or the industry that you're in, uh, the bubble burst, um, you know, from COVID or whatever it is. And then it's like, you know, a lot of people out of work, but I want to say the bubble burst. So it's like, people think, oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. The bubble burst. And then, it, um, you know, a lot of redundancies and things like that, but the bubble burst is coming up for me. I just wanted to say that before I continue. Um, so employment, yes or no. So just noticing that about the industry that you're in. Um, but I just wanted to suggest that. All right, so Belinda Shempers, um, so uh, will we find employment? I'm just going to ask that first. Will we find employment, a job? And then I'll be a bit more specific. Thank you. Um, so that's a yes. Now, um, so what are we in June? Um, so within uh, three months, let's say within three, thank you. Uh, will Belinda Shempers find employment within three months? Uh, Belinda, I'm getting a yes for that. I'm getting a yes. So within three months, getting a yes, okay? So hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, and uh, yes, uh, Tazzy Wilkie, um, Colleen Crumpton, uh, Aboriginal Elders and Ancestors. Now I'm going to use the Angels and Ancestors card for this. So Aboriginal Ancestry, uh, and this is for Colleen. Whoops, I just dropped all the cards all over the table. Um, this is for Colleen um, and Tazzy Wilkie, instead of asking on her behalf. Um, then I'm coming to Michelle Xavier, and then I'm having a look at Sarah Lemonin, uh, Emily Traherne, uh, Lorraine Townsend and Claire Mount, um, who's also watching. It's so nice to have everyone on here. Um, yeah, absolutely. I've got um, Colleen. Yeah, I'm going to do Colleen Tazzy. That's no problem at all. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to connect one-on-one, -on -one, click um, the link in this post and book now and check my availability. I'd love to see you during the week. I have so much fun, as you can tell. Uh, so much fun. Colleen Crompton. Um, so Aboriginal Ancestry and Elders. Uh, Colleen, oh, there's some energy coming in the room, my friend. There is some energy. Um, this is feeling like guides for me. Um, no, I do have an Aboriginal Elder that I work with as one of my guides as well, and it's feeling same, same for me. Um, I want to say in terms of animal, um, there's a lot of uh, animal around, animal energy. So working with the animal energy, it's like a real dream time for me. Um, mythic, mythical, mythical. Um, so story, you know, telling stories, that sort of thing. Um, I'm really connected to that. I feel really connected to that. Um, um, now, with goosebumps, with this um, energy that's coming in, there's a lot of the painting, a lot of the painting. Um, I'm also seeing like the um, uh, the spear, the spear. Um, and uh, there's something around head. There's like paint on my head and my hair is like gray and very curly, but it's like a pepper, sort of pepper gray. Um, and I feel like I'm standing sort of on one leg. So I'm standing still. I've got this uh, stick here and I'm standing on one leg. Um, so that's what I'm feeling around uh, guide, you know, in terms of guide. Um, and often our guides are ancestors or people we've had connections to in a past life. Uh, but this is definitely indigenous, Aboriginal indigenous. Um, so yeah, definitely the... Um, that's the appearance, the peppery hair, um, and it's quite curly. So to see if you understand that, if you may have seen this person before um, and or guide, you may have seen them before. Um, I want to say connection to water, uh, connection to water. And mythical, mythical, mythical is coming up. So dream time, the stories, and you know, all of that sort of stuff. Um, 
uh, really belief in that, really important. Um, you know, the rainbow serpent, you know, all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of stories, yes, a lot of stories. Um, we really need to connect to that. Now, um, this is beautiful. So we've got sage, past into now, devotion, commitment. Um, so that often represents eyes in heaven. Um, so a little symbol there with the peacock feather. But this one's also writing. They're writing it down. Um, you got the tree there too, um, representing, you know, family tree, the wood, you know, ancestral, you know, all of that sort of stuff, like I was saying before. Um, the sage is wise, you know, the wisdom there. Um, so devoted and committed. That's an Indian connection there as well. Um, so Indian connection. Now, seeing your seeds grow is planting some seeds, you know, being nice and creative, putting them in the ground, seeing what comes out of that. So spring spring september october november not super far away um heading back into spring so september um things are happening things are kicking off um so notice that a change september uh october november um so that's when the um plants start you know flowering and that sort of thing birds and bees and butterflies are all that now this is making plans and focusing moving forward so the shield maiden that's a protective um card there as well there's a bit of celtic thing going on in the background there as well um, so shield maiden. So noticing your um, protection level of protection moving forward, uh, but also planning and focusing. Um, so really keeping your um, sights set on what you're trying to achieve um, here. But this is really in the roots here, really getting into the roots, um, you know, with the tree. Now bask and join lights moving forward that summer. So really we've got two cards here that represent the seasons. We've got spring and summer. So things are really picking up. September, so October, November, December, January, February. So over those six months, um, there's a lot happening, a lot happening. We're making a lot of progress is what I want to say. So in answer to your question, I feel like things are really stepping up, but it's within that three month period from now. Um, and then over that six months, Colleen. So hopefully that makes sense. I feel like we're making a bit of progress in that area with you. Uh, Michelle Xavier. Um, now, Michelle wants a card. Let me just see where I'm going to come. Nature's Whispers. I'm going to come Nature's Whispers. Um, yes, I do like those. Michelle Xavier, just going to come to you now uh, and anyone else who is jumping on. Um, yeah, Colleen, we're definitely making progress, huh? Um, and so over those September, of spring um, and summer, you know, months, um, I feel like, you know, the tree really tapping into that... Um, you know, meditation for me, Colleen. I just want to explain this to Colleen. Um, meditation is really good. Um, so tapping in through meditation, closing your eyes, shutting down, um, asking to connect with that Indigenous elder that I was seeing, uh, that I was talking about standing on one leg and all of that. Um, asking to connect to that Indigenous elder, asking the questions. You know, how do I connect? How do I, you know, sort this out? Um, and I feel like they're going to guide you and assist you. Um, you need to connect through meditation and or dreaming. Dreaming is probably an important one because we're talking about dreaming, yeah? Dream time. Um, so dreaming, really good for you. Um, so just set the intention, Colleen, um, and ask what you need yes and just ask um you know the guide to guide you uh point you in the right direction um so michelle xavier just going to come to you these are nature's whispers just want to have a look at these for you uh colleen i also want to say write down your dreams so that more come so write down your dreams so you remember them but also um you know more will come more information so i do feel like you're doing a lot of downloads in dreams you know allowing those guides and ancestors to come in and give you the information you need um, but I'm feeling success, you know, spring um, and summer, warmer months, um, success. Now, Michelle Xavier, um, looking for the beauty. Now, this is uh, sometimes we look at the ugliness, sometimes we walk around and we go, look at the rubbish, look at the graffiti, look at this. Um, it's looking past all of that for the potential. It's like when you go and look at a home and it's like, you know, they haven't taken care of it, there's rubbish everywhere, and you're like, oh my God, um, it's a dive, yeah? But it's like looking beyond that at the potential. So, what I want to see here is potential. Um, and this is also within yourself, seeing your own true potential, um, looking for the beauty within. Um, so, seeking beauty is number one, and that's very uh, reflective. She's in the water there as well um so that's a lot of emotion so looking for true potential now in the present this is hope and happiness yes this is very optimistic um eight nine ten eleven twelve three is great strength so using life experience that sort of thing um it's brought you to where you are accepting all of that you know it's all part of you um so in the moment i've got great hopes you know high hopes um raising vibration happiness is is high vibrational um so there's a lot of color in that um the swans are sitting down there and they're starting to take off um migration yeah involved in that so being on the move i'm going to you know wherever it is um you know sunny um, that's what the birds are doing. So it's a bit of migration happening there as well. So not being um, afraid to change is what I want to say. Not being afraid to shift and change, yeah, is what's coming out of that for me. Now, this is an eight, which is abundance, and that is following your heart space. And that actually ties in very well with this one, which is on the bottom of the deck, which is my clarifier. So both of these are about your heart. Heart knows the way. So when you think back to childhood, it's like we always knew what we wanted to do. And as we get old, we sort of doubt a little bit. Um, so there's a lot of butterfly representation in here, a rebirth. There's some shifts happening with you, transition, change. We're not doing things the same way we've always done them. 
um, and that is listening to your heart. That's the inner guidance. It's your compass. You know, you see the boats in there. There's boats in here as well. And you can also listen, of course, in the shell. And you've got the um, sound of the ocean in there. It's quite magical. Uh, but the boats are there. So you know the way. You know, you've got the stars and the um, uh, moon there. And the boats used to use that as a navigation. Yes. Um, also, the peacock feathers are eyes in heaven. So eyes in heaven. So that's your loved ones. Okay. Um, so really listening to your heart. Being honest with yourself is what I want to say. We can't lie to ourselves. Um, we do, but we can't. You know, it's not good. Um, so being really honest with yourself first um, in terms of what you need and what you want. Um, now, Sarah Lemon, uh, Lennon rather, is after health. Um, so I'm going to use Whispers of Healing, Sarah. So it's coming there for Sarah. Um, if you want to connect with me, more than happy, um, click on the link and now check my availability. Um, I do do a beautiful reading healing combo, which is very popular. Um, it's one and a half hours and we do a lovely reading and a healing afterwards. I do pranic energy healing and Reiki. I also teach, I mentor, I teach Reiki on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, Oh, love, Beverly, love. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time, Beverly, but I'll put you down. Uh, Beverly, romance, romance. Um, see how we go. I'm just up to Sarah Lennon at the moment. I'm coming to Emily Trahern, uh, Trahern and uh, Lorraine Townsend and Claire Mount at the moment. So we'll get through all of those guys and see how we go for time. Um, now, if you want to connect with one-on-one, -on -one, that's where the link is. And just click with now. More than happy. Uh, Sarah Lennon Health, just going to come to you, Sarah, um, and just see what I need to know. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, I'm not sure if it's Sarah or Sarah. Um, hopefully, I'm uh, pronouncing it correctly. Sarah, what I want to say with you is a lot of green happening. That's Raphael, the master healer. Um, so there's a lot of green. Just allow that to happen. The other thing with green is it's alkalizing. So um, green smoothies, you know, all that sort of stuff, bringing your um, pH back into balance. Um, green is coming up. Uh, I do feel like Raphael is around though, master healer. Um, a lot of green happening. And it does feel a bit emotional. So just notice the emotions in the body. Emotions often sit in that uh, solar plexus um, up into, you know, lungs um, and that sort of area. So the emotional center is obviously in the heart as well. Um, but there's a fair bit of emotional stuff. So whatever you can do to process, release through tears, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of releasing uh, that needs to happen with you in particular. Um, studious, I see study. Um, so if we're doing a little bit of research, reading books, you know, that sort of thing, learning, um, I'm gonna say uh, seeker with you. So always asking the questions, trying to find the information. Oh, these are great. Um, yeah, really good. Now, uh, this is health and healing. Uh, so that's choice. And these have the, a lot of the boat references as well. So this is a choice. We've got lots of options. You can see she's blowing out those little bubbles, um, which is like thought forms. So we've got lots of options. Sometimes it can be overwhelming because it's spoiled for choice. Um, passed into now. So it's like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, passed into now. So we can be overwhelmed with that. Now we've got uh, three which is strength, great strength, life experience. It can be lots of challenges in life. We've chosen a lot of challenges before we came in as a little soul too, because uh, this is another three. Now, sensitivity, that's come up a little bit tonight, ladies. So you do need to take lots of good care of yourself and be patient. Sensitivity, again, is that triggering, you know, being triggered easily by uh, toxic environments, people, food, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Just recognizing that, that three, again, is um, strong. You know, it's been through a lot in your life. You've seen a lot and experienced a lot. And we can learn from that. Another three, three threes in a row. That is incredible. Um, awareness, yes. So it means that it opens our eyes to a lot more. You can see there's a, like an entire cosmos in there. So you're really a seeker. You know, I was saying asking questions and that sort of thing. You're really a seeker. You know, asking for questions, want to know the answers, you know, that sort of thing. And it won't suffice. If someone tells me this is the answer, I'm going to look a little bit deeper uh, with you. Notice the rainbow. The rainbows are signs from spirit. You're on the right track. But there's an entire cosmos in here. There's a huge amount of awakening and there's going to be more awareness for you coming. Yes. Um, um, some more life experience, but three threes in a row. Now, bottom of the deck isn't another three. It's a nine, which is humanitarian, and that's raising your vibration. So I play the flute. The flute is actually a really good healing uh, tool for the body and instrument because it cleans out, depending on what um, you know uh, notes you're playing, it actually clears out all the chakras. So you can actually clear out every single chakra playing the flute. So it's a very good instrument. That's what I play. You can also see the cosmos reference again. Spirit wants me to show you that. So there's a lot of galaxies and things like that. So really for you, it's a lot of meditation. Um, similar to what I was saying before, there's a bit of imagination up there with the little um, boys in the rowboat, um, which is a nursery rhyme. You've got the um, shell, uh, cone shell, whatever it's called, with the... Um, um, sort of ocean inside, but you can sort of put it up to your ear. So a lot of imagination in here. It's like switching on the imagination, raising your vibration, be creative. Yeah, be creative. Um, so Sarah, hopefully that makes sense health-wise. Um, but sensitivity, 
you know, trying to do the green. It's funny because that's a lot of green in that. Um, so, you know, grass, your yeah, um, wheat grass, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Bit of a detox, but gentle. Um, but yeah, greens, alkalizing, noticing your pH, bring your pH back into alignment um, is really important. Emily Traherne, a bit of guidance. Emily Traherne, where am I going to come with Emily? Uh, angel therapy, maybe. Let me do Emily Traherne over here. She's a after general. Uh, Lorraine Townsend, I'm going to do Pendulum for you. Um, so Emily, I'm just going to draw a couple of cards. And then we're coming to Claire and uh, Beverly, if we can get there. We'll just see how we go for time. Um, oh, Sonia, hello, hello. Um, Sonia jumps into our group Facebook lives, which is wonderful. Um, really appreciate you being here, Sonia. Uh, Emily Traherne Guidance, just going to have a look at Emily. Uh, these are the Angel Therapy cards. These are Dorian Virtue. Um, so they're nice and general. What do we need to know for Emily? Um, Emily, Earth Angel's there. Now that is uh, someone who is very uh, aware of animals. We don't want animals to suffer. Very aware of global warming, climate change, and all that sort of stuff. And it is also a light worker like what I do. Um, so helping and healing others, being on the front line. So it doesn't have to be me sitting here doing readings. You don't have to be doing this exact same thing, um, although you could. Uh, but it is someone who is a light worker, and you're basically uh, helping healing, being a service frontline humanitarian type stuff. Now, emotional sensitivity is the same as what I've had for a lot of people tonight, um, but this is emotional more so. So it means that, you know, um, when you have heightened emotions, it means it's bubbling on under the surface and it can be like a pressure cooker. And sometimes it spills over and I'm crying irrationally sometimes. So it doesn't know that is passed into now, so see if that resonates with you. Uh, but it means everything's sort of bubbling along um, under the surface. We need to deal with it. So process, cry in a conscious way, that sort of thing. Uh, will be really good. Now, this is Divine Feminine. Beautiful, hey? Very feminine goddess energy. Uh, that can be our guides. Um, but this is also you being, um, you know, super feminine, expressing your femininity, not being afraid of that. Know that we can be strong feminine. That's um, almost a blood moon in the background. We had that blood moon uh, a little while ago, and uh, that was the lunar eclipse and all that sort of stuff happening at the same time. So very, very powerful energy in that, but really connecting to the Divine Feminine with you. Now, cutting cords moving forward is protection. So you're forming a lot of cords. Um, generally, we do that through work, social life, you know, that's Sort of thing. But this is also cutting cords to the past, you know, cutting cords we're not sort of hanging on to, dwelling on, you know, things that have come before. Um, so cutting, and that's also protection. So putting up protection. So we're not going to carry everything around with us. And Archangel Michael is really good at that, you know, helping us cut cords. Um, that's relationships, you know, work, loss, um, losing someone we love, you know, all that sort of stuff. We need to cut cords um, and a, a fresh start with you. And then you're moving into this high vibrational energy. Once we've done that, that's Earth Angel stuff. So that's Light Worker, which is amazing. Underneath that is another Michael card. Cancel, clear, delete. Same story. So we do need to disconnect from the past for you. In Rain Town, so moving in August. Let's ask the question. Let's have a look at my spirit guide over here and just see. Is the Rain Towns are going to be moving in August? Let me just make sure I've got a good connection. Okay. Uh, now I was going through August, September, October, and I was going to October, Lorraine, but let me just ask the question anyway. Um, is the rent going to be moving in August? Getting a no for that. Um, Lorraine, are we going to be moving in? Thank you. Are we going to be moving in September? I'm just going to scroll through, but I was getting October, um, August, September. Are we moving in September for Lorraine? We're getting a no. Thank you. Um, are we going to be moving in October for Lorraine? Lorraine Townsend moving in October. Lorraine, I'm getting a yes for that. So that's October is coming into my mind as I was speaking to you, um, but I'm getting a yes for October. So um, hopefully that resonates with you and doesn't throw your plans out too much. Uh, Claire, I'm going to come to you now, my friend. Um, so I may use the fairies, hey? Fairies are nice. Let's see. You're in that little baby bubble. Um, let's see. Let's see. Give me some feedback too. Um, healing energy therapies, love guidance um, in this life purpose. Michelle, that's amazing. Um, amazing. I am a mentor too. So if you feel to um, connect with me, you can ask some questions after the show, Michelle. Uh, Claire Mount, uh, just after some general. So I'm just going to have a look at the fairy cards for Claire uh, and see what we need to know in this little beautiful baby bubble that we are in. Claire, it just feels very, um, very high vibrational in your energy. Um, just light. Yeah, really light is what I want to say. Uh, it's very nice walking in your shoes. Um, that womb space has really opened up for you as well, uh, which is beautiful. 
considering what um, where we came from. Now, this is nice. Now, travel's passed into now for you. Oh, this is interesting. You're going to love this. Uh, travel, passed into now. That indicates we've uh, had a little getaway, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, travel. Um, that's certainly a holiday, though. Um, you know, so getting away, passed into now. This is um, what I really want moving forward. Um, is it career? Is it family? You know, what am I really focusing on? And uh, is my life purpose fulfilling me? Is my career fulfilling me? Now, a couple of cards which are going to be interesting for you. Pregnancy moving forward. So there's definitely another bubba, definitely another bubba coming in. That's a pregnancy card. And then we've got career. So what I want to say, um, and under career is research. So what I want to say is, is my career, you know, fulfilling me? And sometimes when I have a little one, um, it really makes you re reassess that, you know, is it satisfying? So let's do some more research. We've got career here and then we've got pregnancy. So whatever it is, it has to support this, you know, family, we're expanding the family. So um, it's a shift of focus for me, shift of focus. I mean, your true feelings is like, okay, um, you know, uh, what I was doing before maybe isn't fulfilling so much. Uh, I needed to reassess that, Claire. So hopefully that makes sense for you now. I'm going to jump off because I've got someone else trying to get on here and do their show. Uh, so apologies to Beverly. I didn't get, manage to get to you tonight, but thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you. Um, hopefully that's not too much time for you to wait. Um, if you want to connect with me, I will be online and answering questions and that sort of thing if you do have them or if you need help with bookings. Um, and I will see you the same time next week. So nice to see you all. Bye.